So you've been asking me to make a beat using FL Studio for a long time and I actually did a video making a beat using FL Studio almost two years ago, it was like one of the first videos I ever did on this channel but I think I can top that, I've been watching tutorials all morning on the basics of FL Studio, all the useful shortcuts and I'm pretty confident that I can make a fire beat using FL Studio. So uh, let's get into it. Ocean Gang go drown! Alrighty, I'm gonna open up FL Studio 20 real quick. And to get started, all my plugins already from Logic are on FL Studio. I guess they pick it up. So I think I'm gonna start with a piano. I'm gonna start with some, I'm gonna start with addictive keys. And I'm just gonna pencil in a quick melody, see what I can find. I need to raise this, it's a bit slow. Let's put it to like 140. This is sounding like it could be a dual melody is quite dark and I'm gonna add in some gross beat you don't know I've been waiting for this day to use the original gross beat from FL Studio I've sent it to a mixer and there it is gross beat right there and I need to go through these presets and find the 50% speed this one and I also want to add in a fetch trick Sounds good. And I need to add in an EQ. Like that is not the EQ I've seen before. I think it's, it must be the second one. EQ2. And I think I'm going to add in like another addictive keys. Just put another melody on top of this one. What I love about FL Studio as well, I really wish they had this in Logic Pro X, is the ghost notes in the background. It, it just makes it so much easier. I think something like that will go. And I'm just gonna send this to the mixer one as well. It's got like the gross beat and the fetches on it ready. All right, I think that sounds good for some melody. I wanna add some drums on top of this now. Oh yeah, I forget. I need to switch off the loop points right there. Damn it, I missed it. I think I was too early. I'm not gonna lie, things just seem a lot more fluid, a lot more faster in FL Studio. Like the drum sequences there, you can just put in your drums super easy. And like, I don't even have to pitch the hi-hats, it's already done. 
Doing that in Logic takes so much time. I'm sure there's a faster way to do hi-hats. This just seems all long. All right, so I think I've got a control A, command A, select everything. And then I just hold option, I think, drag that over. Nope, that did not work. Maybe I'll just Command C to copy it, paste it, and then that could be easier, just dragging it over. See what I can find in my packs. I wonder if there's a way that I can just like press and it does like a brush effect. It must be like one of these here. Ah, there we go, perfect. I'm just gonna put these rolls like in random places. I like the bounce there, I'm gonna keep it like that. I guess the last thing to add in right now is an 808 and beat is pretty much finished. One thing I did forget to do, I wanna make this a bit more human. I think I've got to control everything, command A, and then I've got to hold all S, and then I can like mess around with the velocities a bit. And I don't know what this is, I'll just play around with it a bit. Things seem to be changing. Pretty sure that made a difference somehow. If I remember to, from the tutorials, shout out Simon Savida for the 808 one. I gotta do cut itself, I need to click here, get rid of use loop point, and turn down the attack, keep the hold, turn that down, turn this down, turn this down, and then turn the hold up. And this should stop my 808s from being muddy when I start to play it in. So I'm gonna control everything, and then I think it's all L to force Elgato. Now I'm gonna add in the glides, and I think I've just gotta press S. Press an S, nothing's happening. Maybe, um, what's the thing I gotta do again? Double click. Okay, there we go, this thingy right here. Then, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to like figure out how the glides can glide, basically. Too bad. 
bad. Let me just send this to the mixer. And just like how I do in Logic all the time, I'm gonna add in some, what do we call it? Some distortion. But yeah, that is me cooking up a beat in FL Studio. That is literally my second beat I've ever made in FL Studio. Sometimes I use FL Studio to do a bit of sound design for like drum kits and things like that, samples. But I never use it to make beats. I'm just too far gone with Logic. I do like FL Studio though. I'm not gonna lie, it's so much more efficient, so much more faster. Everything seems like so fluid, but it's Logic gang all day. I'm just way too used to Logic. And I feel like if I was to switch to FL Studio, the time that I would spend learning all the shortcuts learning my new workflow and getting used to it. I could just be cooking up some beats on Logic Pro X and getting better at Logic. So I think I'm gonna stay with Logic for now. But FO Studio is dope, I do like it. That is about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that thumbs up button right now. Let me know in the comments below if you're Logic Gang or FL Gang. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button right now, join the family. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the future.